you have chosen the fist path. Now, a little bit of a description. Um, this is the shortest of the three paths and involves more action than it does puzzles. And honestly, it's, it's not really that great. It feels kind of shoot in, like light, right at the last minute. And, um... And if you're thinking, oh, this is the cool part, Indy goes to, you know, uh, <clears throat> getting fist fights, you know, uses whip more often, and, and gets in gunfights and all that cool stuff, and no, none of, none of that happens, except the fist fights, and uh, it's not really that great, and the way to uh, get to the fist path is go to the doorman, insult him, and you'll get in a fist fight. Then you just punch him out and walk through the door, and that will start up the uh, f the uh, fist path. And well, well, let's just let's just see for ourselves just uh, what this fight mechanic is. Mm, it's unlocked. What do you want, pal? This ain't no ticket office. Let me in, you Darwinian nightmare. Was that an insult? Well, what do you think? I think I'm tired of fancy Dan College boys who use big voids, and I think you'd better apologize. Well, why should I, you fat tub of lard? <laughs> That's it, wise guy. Put up your dope. Okay. Basically, you just click. Alright, but there's actually this uh, trick that you can do. Um, now, usually what you can do is, is that you click on either any of the three parts. The head, the chest, or, you know, the stomach. And when he goes to swing, you can actually defend, defend yourself by clicking on on yourself in whichever direction you think he's going to hit first. There's also a power bar which um, which if charged up and if you throw a punch and it connects it removes that amount of damage. Like like he he's only doing little punches right now and quite frankly if you really want to, want to win you can just spam left click and just hit him multiple times. It does it doesn't really matter. Also, they added in a, mecha a mechanic. It doesn't work all the time, but um, if you're not interested in, you know, just, you know, button mashing, you know, forever, you know, like this. To knock them out. What you can do is, is that, um... At any time in the fight, you can press the zero key, and that will and Indy will throw a, a sucker punch and will knock out any enemy with one hit, basically ending the fight instantly, like so. I guess I got lucky. I'm not sure I want to do a lot of fighting. But, but yeah, that's basically the gist of it. <laughs> Alright, so I'll stop right here and, and I will continue on and come, and come back when the, uh, when Sophia goes to read our fortune and the, uh, path truly, fist path truly begins. Alright, we're back. Look into my eyes deep into my eyes. For Pete's sake, I'm not going to hurt you. Now hold still. You are a remarkable man, Dr. Jones. You possess great strength of character. You are resourceful. You trust others and want them to trust you. The most promising path to Atlantis, therefore, is the one we both must take together as a team. Wait, what? No! <laughs> um, is this a glitch or? Oh no, was it because I sucker punched, sucker punched the guy? Oh no. <laughs> okay, this was not supposed to happen. All right. Um. 
Um, well, it's a good thing we have a uh, multiple choice, so... I'd rather go into action by myself. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, absolutely sure. Yes, I'm sure. I want action. Okay, if that's how you feel, I won't try to stop you. I'll send you a postcard. So long, Indy. Yeah, that is... That is really strange. That's never happened before. Yeah, but I think Sunker punching the uh, doorman was... Was, this, was the thing that did it. I probably just should just kept punching him. Anyway, off to Mike Carlo. Alright. There he is. Hey there. Are you Alan Trottier? Oh, perhaps. Who's asking? I'm Dr. Indiana Jones of Barnett College. Jones, Jones, Jones. I believe I've heard of you. Yes, of course, the famous archaeologist. Actually, I'm just a simple professor. Well, leave the modesty to me, sir. Alain Trottier. Amateur scholar, part-time poet, professional dreamer. I've heard you deal in Atlantean artifacts. Aha, my reputation precedes me. To prove you're worth dealing with, answer me this. Of what material did the Atlantean carve devices to search for Oricalco? We already know this one. Well, if you've seen the other playthroughs. I mean, the other paths, that is. Amber. Yes, excellent. Obviously, you know Plato's lost dialogue well. Personally, I doubt I can help you, but my name is recognized among dealers in antiquity. Maybe my business card will be of some use to you. And now, au revoir. And that's it. We're done. <laughs> we're done here in Monte Carlo. Robert, to the airport. <laughs> yep, we're, we're not coming back here again. That's it. We're done. <laughs> I told you, you know, this path was short and straightforward. Want to see something even more, you know, straightforward? Okay, if you see my playthrough of the Wits Path, then you know all about the uh, Fez thing. Well, we don't have to bother since uh, Paul here is already wearing the Fez, so we can just give him the business card and be on our way. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes? I think this may interest you. Ah, so you've met our esteemed colleague, Mr. Trottier. So what? You mean you aren't Omar? Don't be silly. I'm his trusted servant, Paul. Paul Abdul. Can you arrange a meeting with Mr. Aljabar? Well, now, since you have contacts among antiquities dealers, I guess I could see if he is available. Wait here until I get back. So, yeah, it'll be really easy to follow him. <clears throat> Okay, there he is. And, and it probably won't be long in this version. He'll probably just go straight straight, straight to the house instead of taking all these alleys and back alleys and whatever. The servant's ducking into that house. Yep, see? <laughs> Time is running out! Uh-oh. I won't tell you anything, barbarian. Tell me more! Or die. Okay, there's two ways we can do this. We can walk into the room and have go in a fist fight with the with the uh, Nazi here, or we can use the, our whip to hit the hanging pottery off off the shelf and hit him in the head. And we're gonna go with that because no. because you know the fist fights in this game are boring. For all the riches in the world. Thank you for saving me from that infidel. What's your name? Indiana Jones. Really? 
the famous archaeologist. What brings you to North Africa? I heard you know something about Atlantis. I'm looking for it. Take my advice, Doctor, and give up. There are men who will kill to stop you. Are you talking about Klaus Kerner? You know the man I see. He forced me to reveal the source of my Atlantean artifacts. He and his team are out in the desert, turning a modest discovery of mine into a major dig. They seem to have found an outpost of the Lost Kingdom, and they're stealing my treasures. What were they doing here? The dig site isn't enough to sate their greed. They want more. Now, since you saved my life, here's the map and a camel to speed you on your way. Meanwhile, Paul and I must alert the authorities. Wait, what map? Which camel? Well, obviously the camel outside. But, um, the map is right up here. Hey, this is no shirt, it's a map. Yep. Just a piece of bamboo. So we'll just take this and use it to pry it down. Oh, the stick broke, but I got the map. Yep. Now all that's left to do is just get on the camel and find the dig side. Now, if you see my uh, playthrough of the uh, of the Wits Path, <clears throat> you would usually be uh, stopped by uh, the Foreign Legion, and you have to bribe your way through. However, in the Fist Path, the entire desert is patrolled by by the Nazis, and if they stop you, you're gonna have to fight it out with them. So. Let's try and avoid that. And we give it to what him. What do you make of this map? And he'll tell us the uh, directions to the uh, dig site. Hmm. This X is considerably to the east. Thanks for the information. Okay. When he means considerably to the east, that means it's two screens away to the east. Okay, let's just test this out. Let's uh, actually purposefully get into a fight with this guy. Hey, you have no business out here. I'm taking you back to the city. Over my dead body. If you insist. Yeah, just left click spam. It's better than what they originally implemented. Maybe I should have gone with Sophia. Oh, shut up, Andy. God. <laughs> We're doing fine. Why is why is he whining? <laughs> okay. Yipe. We're fine. Oh, there's three of them now. Yipe! Get to the oasis quick. What do you make of this map? Hmm. You are very close to the site. This X is a little to the south. That's about it. Thanks for the information. All right. Now we'll be marked by a big red S that we can't miss, and that's the dig side. However, there's this guy here, but I think we can just cut around. Or we can distract him, maybe. We can just get his attention and then go around in a circle. And just head here. Looks like I lost those guys. Yep. We made it to Dick's site. Well, look what I found. An abandoned dig site. Alright. Now, in here, we would have, you know, in multiple paths, we would have to find gas to, you know, um, start up the generator when it gets dark in there, but 
that's actually not a problem. And oh wait, 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 wait. Now if you notice over to the uh, left here, there's a rope ladder. Now if we try to look at it or try to get close to it, this happens. Yip! Somebody's shooting at me. Yep. There's a sniper. There's actually a a balloon up there. And there's a sniper up in the uh, up in the balloon shooting down at us if we try to get close to him. He actually lets us allows us to go into the dig site, but if we come back up then it's practically curtains. So it's a good thing we don't have to uh, come back up in order to get more gas since there's already gas in the generator. But we're going to have to find a way to uh, get out of here or at least make him come to us. So let's find the switch. There we go. And there we go. And let's pick up the essentials. Ship rib, the clay jar. There's a coppery bead in here. Nice. And the wooden peg. Let's use this on here. There's a mural behind this crumbling rock. Okay, now this is what we need to uh, put the sunstone in. But I hear you thinking, wait a minute. Wait a minute, doesn't Trottier have the, um, the sunstone? Well... In this one, in this path, no, he doesn't. The sunstone is actually in here. Well, now, here's something the Nazis missed. And there we go. So, let's go use this, and let's let's see here. Okay, at the okay. And may outpost the sunstone suffice if sunset made the tall horns red. Okay, that's easy. Sunset. I didn't do anything. I didn't mean to do that. No, come on. Peg. Aha! Why didn't I notice this before? The shape painted under the sunstone. It's the island of Crete. I'll bet that's where I'll find Atlantis, or one of the colonies. <laughs> Calm down, Andy. <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. Um, we need to keep the peg in there. Okay, let's try that again, because we need that door open. Because that's our way out. Aha! Judging by the placement of the stone on this barrel, yes, we know, I Indy. should head for Alright. Take the sunstone. Keep the peg in. And let's leave through here. Tough climb. Halt! Do you realize what you've done? You've dug an unauthorized hole! <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> okay. So if we antagonize him, he's just gonna shoot us. I couldn't help it. The roof fell in. Colonel Kerner is away on reconnaissance. If I were you, I'd think up a better story than that before he gets back. Okay. Now, if we try to move, he'll just outright kill us. So. He's in front of us at arm's length, and we have a whip. While you're standing there, let me show you a magic trick I learned. You'll be sorry you did that, Americana. Okay, before we continue the fight, something just occurred to me. This actually might be the same guy um, that got the balloon dropped on him in, in the team path. <laughs> He doesn't have anything worth taking. Ah, shame. Well, we can take his balloon, and we can use that to go all the way, 
decreet. Kind of makes me wonder what's actually holding the balloon in place. Oh well, never mind. Basically, the head to Creed, head all the way to the top to the coast and go one screen up more. Creed, here I come. Um, I guess we're having some trouble trying to get there. <laughs> There we go. All right. Fly again. <laughs> well, now that we're here in uh, Crete, we're going to need a moonstone. So I guess we can just head to the uh, other dig site here. Now this is technically the same as the team path. We gotta f get the surveyor's instrument, get move further into the ruins, and use it to uh, look through the bull's horns to uh, find the moonstone and then dig it up. I need to find a way down there. Yeah. <laughs> You just can't click and have Indy do the walking. You literally have to literally multi-click in order to get him there. Okay. Alright, let's start knocking these stones over. See if one of these has the uh, tail and the head. They won't move. Alright, so that that can't be moved. How about this? They won't move. Alright, not that. Let's push this out of the There's way. There's a statue here. Yeah, the bull's head and the uh, tail are literally right next to one another in a certain area. There's a statue here. And let's see if it's the uh, tail. That's the that's the one. I see the left horn. Okay, no, nothing happened. I see the right horn. Nope. Guess it's the bull's head. And now we got a clue, since we know it's the right horn, we gotta look through. I see the right horn. Or maybe not. Okay, I guess it's the left then. I see the left horn. Hello, what's this? Alright, we don't need the uh, spheres instrument anymore. This is where the survey lines triangulate. Yep. Hey, there's a stone disc down here. It's got a hole in the middle and little moons carved into the surface. It must be one of the moonstones Plato wrote about. Okay, and then we head, head back up over the hill, and we can use that to progress. Okay, sunstone first, moonstone last. Alright, 
Let's see what this is. At the greater colony, a moonstone was also needed, with the noon sun riding above the full moon. Okay, well that's simple. Okay. Noon sun riding above the full moon. Don't you love it when they tell you exactly <laughs> what it is? Well, that didn't do anything. Excuse me, what? The noon sun riding above the full moon. That's that's the right one. Maybe I have to move it around. For some reason, it doesn't want to register at the t uh, tall horns at all times. That still didn't. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I need to. Yeah, yeah. There we go. What do you know? A secret door. Oh. You're trespassing on occupied territory. I've got orders not to let anyone pass. Uh. I've got a message for Colonel Kerner. Let me pass. I'll deliver it myself. Watch the message. Go tell Kerner there's an idiot guarding the door. <laughs> you need a lesson in respect, my hair. I'll bite my ass. <laughs> Alright, let's search him. Too bad he doesn't have anything useful. Alright, a bit of a thing, okay? Since... Since that guy was guarding the door, that technically means that the Nazis are already inside the uh, ruins of Nosos. So basically, we're going to have to be fighting a lot of Nazis inside inside the ruins. Some of these guys have something on them, some of them don't. The legend of a labyrinth hidden under the ruins of Gnosis is true. Gnosis, the legend of Atlantis sorry. isn't any more far-fetched. Maybe it's true, too. I'll bet the last stone disc and Atlantis are waiting for me somewhere beyond that door. Alright. Pick up the statue heads. Go through. And use the whip to grab the last statue head. And we're locked in here, but don't worry. There's a way. Our only way out is deeper into the catacombs. We don't have to go back out through here. And technically, we locked that guy outside, so basically he's the lucky one compared to the Nazis we're going to be facing later. <laughs> okay, now this right here is the way to... Uh, progress even more but we're gonna need a couple things first before we proceed onward we're need we need the world stone and we need a gold box and those are incredibly important and this right here is an elevator however it's the kind of elevator that goes down if if something weighs it down heavily enough for it to go down unfortunately Indy isn't isn't that heavy however with him in his weight however we can use the weight of the of the bull's head to weigh it down there we go it's an elevator yep Oh. Oh, right. Uh, yeah. I remember now. Okay, in this path, Sternhardt, even though he quite literally took the, um, the World Stone last time we saw him, he, uh, he had it stolen from him. So, I do know where we can get the World Stone in the, in this path. I guess the only thing we need Wait, to get... Wait, that was my ride! I guess the only thing we need to do is to get the gold box, and to do that we need a staff. 
It's our old friend, Professor Sternhardt. Looks like he's starved to death. I guess he knew a lot more than he let on. But not enough to find a way out of here. It says... I am convinced the map room lies beyond the chasm I couldn't cross. If only I weren't trapped down here. Too bad for Sternhardt. He came a long way. Hey, you wanna know the sad part is? There was a way to get out of here, and it was through the waterfall. How nice. Wait, there's a chain running up behind the waterfall. It must be holding the elevator's counterweight. So yeah, he just died for no reason, but hey, he stole the world stone, so all's fair in love and war. getting wet okay now to get the gold box we're gonna have to go this way but if you just directly walk over to here from where Indy is standing you'll step on the elevator again he'll go back down however there's a way to walk around it first you walk up to the statue then you w click on the door and he'll just walk right over the trap okay now we're going to use the uh, statue heads to open this gate. Now, that was, there's an elevator in here, but we can't quite use it yet because there's... There's this. It's a wedge that keeps the counterweight from sinking. We need to get rid of that, and that's where the staff comes in. There. The counterweight is free. Then we head back down, and we just use the elevator to bring it up so we can grab the gold box. There's an aura calcum bead underneath it. I'll take that too. Now you're probably asking, what's the uh, gold box for? Well, if we look at it... It's a gold box. Okay, wait a minute. Let's just open it and then look at it. It's an empty gold box with a lead lining. A lead lining. So basically what this is, is that you can actually put the aura calcum in the, the gold box. Is now in the box. And close it. And you're probably wondering why. It's going to come in handy later, just uh, trust me. Alright. Since we got what we need... Go through a doorway here. There's a massive stone sure is heavy. Basically just keep pushing it. Did I hear it groan and protest? Did it move a little bit? Or is it my imagination? Keep pushing. Come on, fall over. Bingo. There we go. Alright. Well. I wonder if that thing is anchored securely. One way to find out. Okay, now that we're past this part, we are going to have the fight of our lives. From here on out, we're just going to be fighting Nazis left and right, trying to, trying to, you know, make some progress. So, if at any part our health really starts getting low, I'm, we're going to have to result to, you know, sucker punching. Spooky down here. Yes, it is. Should just... Wait. Wait. Shooter? Oh, is there another way that you can just bypass them entirely? Let me see. 
Oh no, it's just okay. But that. Uh oh. Now we can wait for him to come here, and we can just you know, punch punch him out. But there's another way. We get behind the slab, and we push it. Scratch one Nazi. <laughs> He's unconscious or dead. He doesn't have anything interesting. Yeah. Well, goodbye, Hans. However, his friend is in the next room and we're gonna have to knock him out. Shouldn't you be with the other foreign advisor? And where's Hans? Other foreign advisor? Yeah, that obnoxious hot good woman. How do I know you're really part of Colonel's expedition? Oh, shit. They got Sophia. How, I do not know, but... Come on. There we go. Okay, Franz, have you got anything on you? Yeah. The guy in the back room is named... Hans and the guy in the next room is called Franz, and they're here to pump you up. <laughs> Nothing useful here. <sighs> All right. In fact, just for completion's sake, we're gonna. F there are multiple ways you can like bypass them entirely and just move on, but for this one. We're just gonna knock them all out. Hey, you! Me? No civilians allowed in here. Now wait a minute. Your shoelace is untied. Where? Wait, these boots don't have any lasers. Damn right. He's got nothing I can use. Damn it. Okay. What are you doing here? Uh Hans and Franz sent me. You expect me to believe that? Believe this. if any a lot more nothing useful here well time to say goodbye to Carl King of Ducks come forward you explain yourself won't be quick uh, I'm looking for a patsy and here you are what is this patsy you are it's written all over you I like the fact that uh, the voice actor for Kurt actually had the time to actually say, "What is that in German?" Was ist das? <laughs> Nothing useful here. Damn it! I know one of these guys has something. Okay, see this guy here. Now, if we went the other way and came out through here and fought fought him one on one, he this guy is like super super tough. He's got a large health health bar and anything, and it is possible to knock him out. It's just gonna be, you know, difficult. Also, he's immune to sucker punches. Like if you try to sucker punch him, it wouldn't work. And, but there's another way to feed him through the stalag stalagmite stalactite whatever. It looks dangerously loose. It basically just push it in. Phew, a Stone Age weapon for a Stone Age guy. <laughs> Stal stalactite, okay. And then we just uh, go back and get him. I, li I love the fact that, uh, that in this game, Indy doesn't bring his gun and he doesn't shoot people, but, you know, the game will allow, you know, Impaling someone on a stalactite. 
All right, yoink. Sure is heavy. Anything on you, Anton? He doesn't have anything interesting. No. Godimas Igitor. Oh shit! I forgot about him. <laughs> okay, I better save here. Let's add to three. Then I go a wandering among some mountains high, yodelodoli. Then I go a wandering among some mountains high. Okay. Yodelodoli. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Arnold. Every time it rains, it rains, spendings from heaven. The singing, the singing German. And, uh, as he looks, he is really as tough as he looks, no joke. Now, there is another way to, uh, defeat him, and that's... There's actually two ways to defeat him. One is, you know... The way of, you know, punching him. But other, unlike Antine, this one is extremely difficult. And from what I've heard, it is possible to knock him out, knock him out you know, bare, barehanded. But I heard it's impossible. And I never could do it. So maybe someone out there who has played this game multiple times... Has done it easy. I actually want video proof. I want video proof that that Arnold can be defeated. You know, uh, barehanded. But but the other way other way to defeat him is through here. Basically, I came in this room just to you know show him off, see what we're dealing with. But if we uh, try to leave or something, he'll stop us. You're there, Americana. Come and see. I won't hurt you. Well, at least he's kinda sort of friendly. No any good drinking, John? Maybe. Let me think. Okay. Alright. Now, now if you answer correctly... If you answer correctly, he'll he'll just let you go. But um, if you fuck up, he'll init he'll start you know attacking you. And if that happens, we're gonna have to leave. You can escape combat at any time, and trust me, we. I am not going to fight this guy. I I am not. I'm going for the alternative way, and it's the better way. Ninety nine bottles of beer on the wall. Hey, that's a good one. I'll be on your way. Okay. So we're fine. Godimas Igitor. Ah, then I go a wandering among some mountains high. Okay. Now the plan is, is that we're gonna take this boulder and we're gonna roll it down here and have it squish him. Godimas Igitor. So let's buy bull but I smell American blood. <laughs> That's not comforting. Well, then I go about... I'll just lever this thing over the edge and Oh no. The ship rib broke. Oh like I'm trapped. We have to we have to go back out there to him. <laughs> buy bull but I smell American blood. Okay, if we screw up the uh, song guessing and he initiates combat with us, we can just escape. Uh, hi again. No any more song? Gee, tough question. Um Deep in the heart of Texas. Hey, that's a good one. Oh. I'll be on your way. Okay. Thought you would just straight up go and attack me. I guess you got three chances. Well, then I go among some mountains high. 
And then we used the uh, slagtite that we pulled out of uh, Anton back there and used it to uh, tip the boulder. Godimas Igitur. Well, it shattered my rock wedge, but it worked. Ouch. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right on his head, too. <laughs> he is dead. <laughs> He's dead. Yep. And unlike most of the other Nazis, he does have stuff on him. Hmm, there's an amber fish on a string in his pocket. He also had a couple of orichalcum beads. I'll put them in the box, too. Neato. Okay, let's open the gold box. Now, the reason why they're in the gold boxes in the first place is because of this. Now, this amber fish on a string is useful, since if we use it, our, use it... Why, it's pointing at me. Because it's detecting the uh, orichalcum beads. However, if we close the box and use it, we can use it to find out where we need to go next. Come on, door, move! Well, either Atlantis is a lot smaller than I thought, or I've found some kind of map or scale model. Laid out just as Plato described it, in three concentric circles. Okay, we made our way into the uh, map room here. But we still need the world stone in order to open one of the doors here. And the Nazi said that Sophia is here somewhere, and maybe she has the world stone. So, she's got orichalcum residue on her necklace, so maybe it will detect that. She's got to be around here somewhere, so... Well, that's funny. It's pointing downward. Oh. Well, that was easy. Usually she's not in this pit, but she's in, like, some other pit. Basically, you gotta travel... You gotta travel around, look through all the pits, and eventually you'll find her. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. <laughs> Echo? Echo! Anybody home? Home! Okay. Okay, um, a little thing. In the uh, original non talky version, um, if you have him do rubber baby bu buggy bumpers, his echo will, will reply back, but it, it comes out wrong. <laughs> hey, down there! Indy, is that you? <gasps> I was asleep. What are you doing asleep down there? <laughs> you know, Sophia, this is no place for a woman. Or anybody else. Get me out of here before one of Kerner's goons shows up. Okay, I'll think of something. Yeah, that's impossible since I knocked and or killed all of them off. So, we'll just use the whip to bring her back up. Thanks. I guess you finally got on Kerner's nerves, huh? I don't want to talk about it, but look what I found down there. It's the World Stone Sternhardt nabbed in Tikal. Very good, Doctor. And off we go. Alright. Sunstone, Moonstone. World Stone. Okay. To approach Atlantis itself, a World Stone was required as well, with the dying orbs plummeting into the Eastern Sea. Huh. Plummeting orbs. So. A setting sun? And. A sane sun and the waning moon? Maybe? Let's see. I th All right. Okay, what's the western sea, right? Okay, so waning moon and 
insane son. If I get this right off the bat. That didn't do anything. Nah, I didn't think so. Okay. Eastern Sea. Eastern, not Western. God damn it. <laughs> okay. That didn't do anything. No. That didn't do. Uh, obviously. That. That didn't. <sighs> Eastern Sea Dine Orbs. Orbs. Okay. So. I have no idea. Dying orbs. Is it the noon sun? That didn't do. No. That didn't do one. Obviously. Um. I know what you're thinking. Put it up against the tall horns, and that's not how the puzzles are usually solved. Or maybe it is. Let's just put the East Sea up there, and then Saint Sun and Wayne Moon. If this works, I swear to God, I don't believe it. <laughs> I don't get it. I mean, many of the puzzles don't rely on on them being like directly on like um the full the uh, tall horns also don't forget to uh, take these with you well sophia take a look at this According to the inscription, the arrow on this pedestal is pointing north towards the lesser colony of Atlantis. The nearest landmass up north is a volcanic island called Thera. Well then, that's our next stop. Yep. So, let's go. Let's move on. Okay, how they get transportation off, off of Crete, I have no idea. Plane maybe, but uh, I guess so. Here we are, Thera. The whole island is the rim of an extinct volcano. There's a Greek scholar named Maranathos who claims the place exploded in 1600 BC and wiped out civilization all over the Mediterranean. Kind of like Krakatoa. Exactly, only bigger. Maybe it wiped out Atlantis as well. It's useless to speculate. What's our plan? Um, we could talk to the locals. That's a good idea. Well, let's start with Ahoy him then. There. Ahoy yourself. If it's salvage work you need, I'm your man. No job too big, no job too small. Have you seen any suspicious visitors? I did see some German gentlemen a while back, but not recently. Hmm. You ever hear of Atlantis? Of course, and dragons and mermaids and... Uh... <laughs> I want to go there. Can you take us? To Atlantis? I can't go anywhere that's not marked on my charts. Where exactly do you expect to find it? Uh... All right. Darn, I can't remember. In that case, I can't help you. Okay. So we need to look at this and see, okay. Okay, it's still lying 3,000. I don't think this is it. It's one of these. Oh, wait, 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 what was that? What was that? So Glorious Atlantis found two colonies, the lesser 160 miles northwest of the city and the greater 650 miles away southeast. I don't think this is it. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Okay. But since, you know, we're putting in, uh, 
uh, Plato's Tenfold Error, like I said, which is super important. So this is actually 16 northwest and 65 southeast. So I think this might be the, the correct coordinate. So 16 northwest, 65 southeast. Ahoy there. You again. What do you want? Can you take us to Atlantis? If I knew where it was, I could. Where exactly do you want to go? 16 miles from here. In what direction? Uh... Shit. <laughs> oh, God, I got such a bad memory. Uh, I'm not sure. In that case, I can't help you. Okay, okay. All right. All right. 16 miles northwest. Northwest, 16 miles. Not the boat. Look at the Ahoy cat. There. Talk to the captain. You again. What do you want? 16 miles northwest. 16 miles Can you take northwest. us to Atlantis? 16 miles northwest. 16 miles if I knew where it was, I could. Where exactly do you want to go? Okay. All right. 16, 16 miles. miles. In what direction? Northwest. Wait, what? Uh, Southwest of Thera. Do you know where that puts us? Since you don't seem to know, I'll tell you. In the middle of the ocean. Exactly. I knew that. Then you also know you're going to need a diving suit. Actually, could I borrow your diving equipment? I guess so, but there's a hole in the suit. Are you sure you know what you are doing? Yes, of course. All right, Mr. All-American Explorer type, let's find Atlantis. Just remember, if it sank like they said it did, I claim the selfish rights. If it's not what it lovers, is. We've arrived. Are you sure? Exactly where you wanted to go. There's a diving suit in one of the lockers. The rest is up to you. All right. Aren't you going to help? I'm against helping anyone into an early grave. From now on, you're on your own. It's an old diving suit. Uh-oh, there's a small hole in it. Yep. And we gotta find a way to, uh, patch it up. <coughs> and I don't remember how. <laughs> I tend to avoid doing this path mainly because of, well, how boring it is. But it's an old diving suit. Uh oh, there's a small hole in it. Um, maybe there was a. I'm not putting that on. It's not rigged yet. Try it anyway. I'm not putting that on. It won't hold air. Damn it. Maybe there was something back on the island we could use to patch up the hole. Hello. We gotta go back. What can I do for you? Take us back to Thera, please. Couldn't find the secret city? Too bad. I was hoping to dredge up a fortune. I don't know why I let you hook me into that trip. It's the lure of the unknown. Take my word for it. Okay. Here we are again. Well, we gotta find something to patch that suit up. Is it up in the mountains? Probably is. Hey! What? Where are you going? Uh... I want to see if our friend Kerner has been here. I'll wait here. <sighs> Whatever. Okay. Let's see if there's like a dig site here. Aha. Uh -huh. A tire repair kit. That's what we need. It's a German army truck with a missing tire. Kerner must have been here. Yep. Anything on the crate? No. 
And it's collapsed already. Alright, so that is what we need, the tire repair kit to uh, fix the uh, hole in the suit. Okay, just to be sure, it was 60 miles northwest. Okay, so Glorious Atlanta has found two colonies lesser. 60 miles northwest of the city, and the greater 60 miles away south southeast. But that doesn't make sense because if we go, because the because the numbers don't go higher than the teens. And we can't go to the north. We can only just go the south or southeast direction. So that doesn't make any sense. Okay. This this is it. It has to be. Okay. Since Terra is the lesser colony. Oh wait, wait. I have to add that up. So it's sixteen miles south. Wait. So 60 miles southwest. So it's southeast, yeah. It is southeast, okay. So I had it right the first time. It's 16 miles southeast. Well, Ahoy there's one way to find out. You again, what do you want? Let's go. I can fix the suit. Fine by me. Where are we going? 16 miles from here. In what direction? Southeast of Thera. Are you sure you know what you are doing? Yes, of course. I guess we can try again. If we get lucky, I'll be rich. All right, we're in position. Exactly where you request. Go to it. All right, let's fix her up. There, good as new, almost. All right, let's flip the switch. I'll put air into the suit, and let's put the suit on. I can't move at all in this thing. You'll have to get me into the water, Sophia. That's what the hoist is for. Watch that hook. Okay, okay. And that looks promising. Hey, what happened? Don't yep, yep. When when Indy starts, you know, starts struggling, saying, "Hey, what happened?" That means that this is the right place. So I got it right. Stop. Atlantis is right below me. What's that shadow pulling alongside the boat? Kerner! Perfect. Another slimy creature oozing up from the depths. Now, now, Fraulein Hapgood, I have no wish to shoot you. Don't make me change my mind. What mind? I see you've acquired some bad manners from your friend Charles. Where is he, may I ask? Back on Thera. You'll never find him. Really? What do you say, Captain? I brought them both like you told me, Herr Kerner. I tried to keep Jones from hiding, but he's a very determined man. Now he's a dead man. One rude archaeologist is quite enough for my purposes. Whoa! Oh boy, I've got maybe three minutes of air in my suit. 
Better start hiking. Yeah, unfortunately, Indy is no Geyber Street Boyd. Okay, so we need to hurry to A of the airlocks, and that, and that will, you know, save us. Unfortunately, it's randomized, so it can be literally A one of these, so we need to hurry. Uh, oh. Sure feels good to be out of that diving suit. <laughs> okay, then. We just found it right off the bat. <laughs> Amazing. I must be hundreds of feet below sea level, yet there's enough air pressure to keep the water out. It's impossible. Except if that were really true, I'd be dead. Huh. Well, let's move on. There's a wood thing here. It feels like a ladder. Let's pick that up. Anything else? Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. It feels like a steep rocky incline. The ladder may help. The ladder is in place. Stone thing. It feels like a stone box. Okay. It's open. Is there anything in there? Metal rod. Alright. I think this is obvious. And there we go. That's it for the Fist Path. And if you've been watching the entire series so far, we're done with all three of the paths. Now all that's left is Atlantis. So I will, oh, I will save it right here. And I will finish off the game tomorrow. And until then, I will see you later.